Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, everybody. Pastor Esther here. <laughs> this morning, we're going to continue learning about stewardship. Um, I just ask that you would just forgive my voice. It, um, it's in recovery, um, but we're going to still go on and be faithful with uh, learning about the Word of God. So we've been talking about stewardship, and this morning, by God's grace, I want to talk about stewarding one aspect of our relationship that all of us have. In fact, this is one of the first relationships that many of us have when we're born and later in life, some of us will have. Um, and this relationship is the parent-child relationship. So we're going to see what the Word of God has to say about the parent-child relationship. So I just want to remind us that last week we understood that the two main relationships that we always need to steward is our relationship with God and our relationship with people. And in terms of our relationship with God, we need to love God with everything that we are and we need to love people as ourselves. So today we're going to be in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 4. And this is what it says. It says, children Obey your parents as you would the Lord, because this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise so that it may go well with you and the, that you may have a long life in the land. Fathers, don't stir up anger in your children, but bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. So it is important for us to know that this is the um, fundamental basis for how the relationship between the parent and the child is supposed to go. I mean, because of time, we can't go into all the scriptures, but a lot of Proverbs has a lot of wisdom for us as parents and also wisdom for us as children. But diving into this passage, um, Ephesians chapter 6 um, here, the Apostle Paul is reiterating the uh, one of the Ten Commandments, which is to honor your father and your mother, which we see in Exodus chapter 20. And even in Colossians, he mentions this again to the church in Colossae. He places emphasis on the fact that as children, we need to honor our father and mother. And as parents, we need to raise up our children um, but not stir up anger within them. So I want to say, I know that most of the time it is adults that are listening to this. This is so important for us to understand whether no matter what our culture is saying, no matter what is in trend um, in terms of how we um, parent our children, we need to understand that fundamentally we need to teach our children to obey us as they would the Lord. That also means we need to teach our children to obey God. The Bible says this is right. In God's eyes, this is right. Um, it goes on to say, honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment. You know, one of the things we understand about how human beings learn is they learn from example. They learn by watching other people model the behavior that they need to take on. And one of the ways we can model obedience uh, to our children, especially that to the Lord, so that in turn they come and obey us, is obeying God. And even for those of us who are older and our parents are still here, showing our children what it means to honor our parents. Now, of course, honor looks very different in different cultures, um, in different backgrounds, and in different contexts. Um, but the way we honor our parents should be in alignment with the word of God, definitely. We should let our parents know that we respect them, we love them. And for many of us um, in our adulthood, um, it is important for us in scripture, it talks about uh, being of help to our parents. You know, this is so important for us to make sure that we ourselves, even in our old age, we are doing that, but we also mirror this for our children. And what's so powerful about this command is that it is a command with a promise. And that promise is when we do this, it may go well with us. 
um, that if we do this, um, in a way, it's basically telling us that when we're obedient to this commandment, we incur God's favor upon us, God's grace upon us, and that we may live a long life in the, in the land. Um, it is also important for us to understand that um, this is good. This is one of the ways in which we can be blessed in our lives by being obedient to the word of God. So I want to encourage any parent out there, um, teach your children to obey God, mirror obeying God, and teach them that God's expectation on children is to obey your parents. Now, I love that the Bible is so comprehensive because it goes on to talk to parents. So even when it says fathers, it's also talking to mothers. It says, don't stir up anger in your children. So this means that it is very possible for us to stir up anger in the hearts of our children. Another way to look at it is that we have a responsibility to watch over their hearts. Um, I love how in the Amplified, it says, do not provoke your children to anger. It says, do not exasperate them to the point of resentment with demands that are trivial or unreasonable or humiliating or abusive, nor by showing favoritism or indifference to any of them. Okay, so yes, children are to obey our parents, but good parents are going to mirror their parent their parenthood the way God parents us. And God is a gracious and loving father, but God is a father who also disciplines. The passage of scripture goes on to say, but bring them up in training and instruction in the Lord. So as parents, we need to not provoke our children to anger, meaning that we don't lay upon them unreasonable demands. We make sure that we train and discipline them um, in a way that doesn't stir up resentment in their hearts. We do not humiliate our children. We are not abusive to our children. It is important that when we have multiple children, we don't show favoritism. In fact, the Bible tells us that God um, is no respecter of persons. So we need to mirror our parenthood the way God parents us. So it goes on to say in the Amplified, but bring them up tenderly with love and kindness. We serve a father who displays loving kindness to us all the time. As parents, we need to display loving kindness to our children. It says in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So really scripture should be the basis of how we parent. We need to make sure that we need to raise our children in alignment with the word of God. We need to teach them the ways of God and we need to love on them and discipline them the way God does for us. So this morning, I just want to encourage us um, to be faithful in being parents according to the word of God and being children according to the word of God. Because when we do that, number one, we will have God's success. We will have his good success because his word is true and his ways are right. Number two, when we do that, we are inevitably loving God because we are choosing to follow his way, to follow his command, not to do it the way we want to do it, not to do it the way culture tells us to do it, but we're doing it the way God has aligned for us. And number three, um, when we do this, we're going to have healthy relationships with our children, whether we are in the parent phase and we will have healthy relationship with our parents, whether we are in the children phase. So I want to encourage us this morning, let's steward our parenthood well, let's steward our childhood well in a manner that brings glory and honor to God. God bless you.